And there you get a look at the Veterans Auditorium here in Des Moines, Iowa. Barney one night, Battlecade the next. Also the Iowa Barnstormers of the Arena Football League play here. But we've got more action ahead. Middleweights Eric Paulson and Paul Jones, two very interesting guys who will come in here with different styles. Paul Jones uh, wrestled here for Waukee High School in the 80s, grappled for a state title, not knowing that he'd come back several years later as a professional and go after some very good uh, goods here in extreme fighting. Very interesting guy, lives in Texas, teaches high school sports. Now he'll put himself on the line here. And there you see the ring entrance. Paul Jones making his way through. You recall in Extreme Fighting 2 that he got a five because uh, one of his opponents decided not to fight late in the day. So he comes in there. He's escorted in by Samantha Michaels in November 1996, Penthouse Pet of the Month. there's a challenge out there for Paul Jones, um, I'll be ready to take that. I've done Greco-Roman wrestling, freestyle wrestling, sambo wrestling, judo, but I've also been involved in shoot fighting, combative grappling. Uh, I've tried to, try to make myself into a total package, really, to make sure people know that Paul Jones is, is, a, is a fighter. Boys Home at Boys Ranch, Texas. I'm the head football coach and the head wrestling coach. I really believe it's important to be a role model for kids. You know, I try to uh, live through Christian life. You know, I have a lot of Christian values. But I felt like extreme fighting uh, didn't support my moral values. I don't think I'd fight in. Christians aren't wimps. Uh, the crowd here in Amarillo, they're great. Amarillo's a good sports city all around. Fighting Eric Paulson this time. Uh, I've seen him before. I know Eric Paulson is very good at punishing people. I've seen him, he can take punishment very well, so I think he's he can be a tough opponent. Uh, he's got more than just shoot wrestling in his background, and, and I believe I do too. We're both on the same ground. We, we both put our jocks on the same way, one leg at a time. I've tried to uh, cross train a little bit, do a few more strikes, a few more kicks to go along with the grappling skills that I have. I feel healthy this time. I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, my weight's good. Uh, I've been training hard. I've known I'm going to fight him for some time. So Eric Paulson, Paul Jones should be a pretty good matchup. Well, how do you like that? Christians are not whips. And there is a look at Jones in the ring, all nice and sweated up, ready to go. He's warm. Back in an area where he performed uh, in high school for the state championship, so he's on home ground here. He'll have people here watching, his college coaches here, fans of his are here, so he's the hometown guy. Now that's the way you should come into a ring. You should be ready, you should have been warmed up all before. Bjornthin came in cold. And paid the price, and we look at the opponent now of Jones, and that is Eric Paulson will be making his way in. Should be a good matchup here, Jones and Paulson. And Paulson will be escorted in by the lovely Elizabeth Hilden. I certainly hope so. There you see the two, Paulson and Elizabeth Hilden, the uh, pet of the year, 1997, pet house. Let's take a closer look at Eric Paulson. straightforward. Uh, I'm not a dirty fighter. I fight by the rules. 
and uh, very well rounded and we do a mixture of stuff plus uh, Bruce Lee was the founder of our system. It's called uh, shoot wrestling. The guy I'm fighting is a wrestler and uh, the boxing is going to become probably a major portion of it so my uh, striking is very important. And strength and endurance. Um, my last fight I did mostly pad work and a lot of sparring. This one I've done more uh, lifting and running. I'm working with uh, a lot of different types of grapplers, uh, wrestlers, jujitsu, shoot guys and guys that attack high and low so uh, I'm trying to change my game a little bit. Never during a fight or some wood, knock on wood, I've never been hurt. Basically most of the damage in the fights comes from the elbows and the headbutts and the knees because those are the sharpest tools on your body. So to take the headbutt out is great because actually it takes a lot of the blood out of the fight. Usually uh, the injuries occur during training so you don't go in there 100% but that's what makes a fighter even tougher. You know, have an injury and go in there and overcome it. different TV shows, uh, Baywatch, a few uh, motion pictures. I've gotten more into the stunt work like high falls and uh, uh, driving and things like that, but uh, before I was doing more just uh, fight scenes. Actually before the fight, everyone's really cool and they eye you, all the ring girls, they all check you out and stuff, but after the fight when they see a couple of buckles, pumps and, and scrapes and blood, they just go, get out of here. But they're usually afraid because they get scared of your eyes. So the fickle nature of the fans as related by Eric Paulson. Let's take a look at this fight with the extreme numbers. How these guys match up as they go in. Paulson 29, a little bit younger than Jones. The height advantage to Paulson by a little bit, only at two inches, and their weight very similar. And that's one reason their matchup should be very even on paper. Let's get the introductions now. Ladies and gentlemen, standing in the red corner in front of me, from Boys Ranch, Texas, two-time runner-up NCAA champion, 1996 National Sambo champion, and USWF Shoot Wrestling Tournament champion with a record of 7-0. He is 34 years of old, standing 5 feet, 9 inches tall, weighing in tonight at 196 pounds, originally from Waukee, Iowa, Paul Jones. The gentleman in the blue corner standing behind me, from Los Angeles, California, current shoot wrestling light heavyweight world champion with a record of 16 and two. He stands 29 years old, standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in tonight at 195 pounds, Eric Paulson. Eric Paulson, Paul Jones, ready to go. That's Dan Inosanto in Eric's corner. Uh, he's a legend. He goes right back to Bruce Lee. That's Bruce Lee's number one student. What type of an effect on a bout like this would you expect it to have, uh, training-wise? I just think it's so supportive for him to come here, Eric. Everybody is cleared out. Jones on his home turf. Paulson talking about the need to strike more. We're ready to go, John. It will be interesting to see who makes the first move. Well, there it is. Now, Jones can suplex. Looks like he wants to right now. Smart move for Paulson. He puts his hand inside of Jones. He's still got the right one on the outside. So much of extreme fighting is leverage. Able to basically improve on your spot. Now, Paulson tries a couple of clubbing shots. That's a really stupid move because it exposes the back. And we also see that Jones is getting lower, making a smaller target as he does that. And he's not, not even good shots by Paulson, John. I don't know why he would do it. What did I say about the suplex? Oh, did you ever? That's done, and now Jones finds himself in a good spot. But does he understand the position? That's what I want to see. He understood it, able to flip it up. He got down low, and when Paulson fired the shots over the top, you saw the full leverage exerted by Jones. Paulson's got his hips down. That's very bad. Exposes him to the hook from 
from Jones. Now Paulson's in a really lousy position. He's got to get his right knee under to get guard. There's the hook that I'm talking about. So we saw the scratching hands on the face by Paulson trying to distract Jones, who gets back. He gets back to guard now. He's much safer, but it took him a long time. He took some punishment, and he blew up a bit to do it. And in the guard position, you can still do a lot. It's considered defensive in most circles, but many offensive moves can come from there, and at least your body is balanced. I like that Paulson is remaining calm here but I'm really quite worried. If there's the double grapevines. Now we see Jones standing up, getting through the guard and popping here, trying to use the fence for some support. Two minutes in, you get a good look. Hey, Jones might be going for an ankle because he looks back at it constantly. He turns on it too. Trying for an ankle lock. It's very possible he's gonna jump into the ankle once he distracts him enough. Good balance here by Jones. Excellent leverage, and you're watching good weight distribution. Jones has been parlaying his initial advantage. Paulson moving the legs up, trying for a triangle of his own, and loses it. Oh, goes for it again. He's moving sideways for the arm bar. The arm is exposed. The arm bar, one of the best finishing techniques. You can put pressure on the elbow, pressure on the arm. Opponents having their arms pounded might be apt to tap out. Jones in control. A little more than two minutes to go in the first phase or period here. If we get to the five minute mark, essentially they start all over. I'm watching for this arm bar, the way he turns around. Now if Paulson loses his guard, he's in trouble now he regains it. But you see the way Paulson sticks it up next to his ear? He has an indication there of trying to spin and get the straight arm bar. Well, he's been pretty active on the bottom, Paulson has. He's been trying to switch into an offensive mode, and Jones has been keeping his offensive positioning. Well, you notice that Jones is definitely the stronger of the two. Yeah, he's a wrestler. He's used to being on top, and this is very much the same. We can't see what's going on right now, but Jones is hugging him, and he could get turned over. For Jones, this is a battlecade version of riding time. He's been a big wrestler, but he needs to take better advantage of his riding time. He should go to the back now, and he doesn't. He really missed a big, a big opportunity just then. John, we see a lot of wrestlers, good wrestling backgrounds, don't have the finishing hold down all that well. They're so used to winning on points. Doesn't Jones look a little lethargic at the moment? Yeah, he's taken four minutes of being on top. It doesn't look like he's going for the finish as much as he was earlier. And Paulson very feisty from the bottom. He looks like a completely different fighter all of a sudden, doesn't he? Yeah, he's really just lunging here. Paulson can roll him on his back from here very easily. It looks like Jones is trying to pin him, but that won't win in extreme fighting. Again, Paulson needs to get that left knee under. And Paulson may just need to get through 20 more seconds, and then he can start all over, which for him would be a nice state of affairs after a tough beginning. So the first phase period looks like it will come to a close, and we are going to have a second one. Good opening match there. Yeah, really excellent. Let's watch the way Jones gets up here. What's he look like to you? Did he shoot it? Did he shoot it all out there? Did he leave it? He slowed down, didn't he? It looked like he had three very good minutes. Jones took early control. He wanted the suplex, he craved the suplex, and he got it. And it was his match at this point. But even though he was able to wail away here and do some good work, he was unable to sustain it, and he goes into a second phase. Here we go. Well, you know, I think he had a position here where he could have rolled him over, and he didn't. Let's see what he does. 
So an opportunity lost. It looks like Jones wanted to kick to start round two. Paulson shows a good shot there by Jones underneath a Paulson kick. Each guy showing his strength. Chopping, nice chopping roundhouse kick. Who won that exchange, Judd? Well, look at the position, you know. I just think that uh, Jones, you know, is gonna lift him up again. He may start a suplex from the bottom. That's a very heinous one, by the way, from this position for Paulson's neck. So Paulson clutching. Both guys trying to set up their next move. He's turning him over. He's going to side control. A reverse, a reverse triangle, but I don't think he has the arm in there. Or does he? Being yanked on by Paulson. That was a nice shot. He knows where his head is. Paulson going in and out, trying to loosen the grip on him. He may have done it. He does have the arm in there. Paulson trying to get free of this grip by Jones. See, he wants the other arm really badly. You see Eric pulling on it? He is. He's got a figure four arm lock on it, but Jones is very strong. He actually gives it up just then. Jones is trying to smother Paulson here, get inside of his attack, and try to something go. else. He's free. So Paulson back in guard. Jones on top. You get a good overhead view of that battle inside. The fingers to the face now of Jones. Clubbing right hands there by Paulson. Jones has geographic control here. He's on top, but not going for the finish. That was, that was a great analogy. Um, Eric seems to be letting go of his guard. That, that worries me. Maybe he's worried down a bit, John. Maybe the pressure is just too much forward. But I'll tell you something, it's not helping Paul Jones to do this, to lay in his guard and get hit. What's the, what's the move Jones would like to set up from here? Jones is going to leave his arm if he stands up, but he should be punching from here. If he's happy and content in the position, why doesn't he hurt him from there? You don't get anything just for doing this. Eric Paulson with the little heel kicks to the uh, uh, gluteus maximus. <laughs> and they were unhappy feet. Now we see the wailing away here by Jones. Looking for an arm lock. Tried for the arm bar, didn't get it. Now watch the figure four arm lock from the guard. That's useful, but Jones is very strong. Pawson continues on his back here. Being out muscled, but still in it. Eric can't get past the left arm of Paul Jones. Jones has used that left arm to keep control. Now Paulson trying to spin away. Almost got free. Tried the triangle and slipped out. He was almost there. Jones is actually stalking Eric there for a minute. Nice move by Now Paulson gets out. Jones gets him from the back. Paulson is almost free. Here's where the Brazilians would finish you immediately. They put the hooks in, and Jones just doesn't know enough to do that. They pound the head, they would make you turn your head and go into a submission, but he doesn't have the technique. You know, the ride is just a useless, a useless item. The ankle, he's going for the ankle. Now the knee bar. He's got a minute to do it. A minute to do it. See uh, Paul bending his knee. Looking for a submission to choke here. 30 seconds to go, phase two. Big moment in the bout. Big right hand by Jones as he tries to move in for an arm lock. Jones in complete control. In the full mount. He would have pinned him already, but that doesn't mean enough here. 15 seconds to go. Eric going behind. Paulson may slip out again. And phase two is going to go in the books.
Jones in control here, but it's been unable to give him the win thus far. He's in control, pounding away, but it's been all sizzle, no stake so far, John. Well, the position is controlled by Eric, and uh, and when Jones does get a nice position like you see here, uh, Eric, Eric reverses it out the back, goes right for the ankle initially, then he drops in for the knee. And there's where he goes for the ankle initially, then clutches for the knee. Now, Paul's a Sambo champion and bends his knee immediately. But he had his opportunity. Well, we've seen a lot of attempted finishes now as we go to phase three. A Jones and Paulson. Hand. Beautiful lead left hand by Eric. Big right by Paulson. He promised that. He hurt Jones with that. Jones is wild, but Jones does get hold at the leg. Paulson should have thrown more than one punch. Big right hand. Did you see Jones's head spin? He needed more right there. Going for the armbar deep this time. He's got a better position. Paulson had a chance. Now Jones is in charge. If he doesn't finish him here, he's lost a lot of strength and lost a very, very dominant position. Jones has had countless opportunities to finish it. He's in a very good one here. Trying to use defense to his advantage as well. Smart move by Paulson. Pops out to get better angle. Paulson looking pretty calm down there, John. Knows what he has. He lost it. Three clubbing rights by Paulson. Boy, you just wonder what might have happened if he had thrown more bombs. Just missed the triangle, too. Earlier we saw Alan Goez win a very quick match with the triangle. Paulson has tried many tonight. You see the difficulty in getting the triangle fully executed. Paulson has been there many times and not quite gotten it home. I like the way uh, Eric scrambles when he has to. Boy, Jones is going to shake his head when this is over and all the chances he had. This is a really good one too. He's got the, he's got the environment to help him on one side. No escape. This is interesting. Watch. Very nice move by Paulson again. Paulson gets out. Spinning. Now an ankle lock attempted by Jones. Does he have it? Weak shots here by Paulson. He's trying to get the ankle now, you know. He's got the foot twisted. Eric's not a stupid person when it comes to this. He did not let the ankle get caught. That would have been a very difficult position for him. Watch for this ankle again. There's the knee again. Out with twisting. Figure four ankle lock. Jones has tried the ankle locks, the arm locks. Now pounding away, looking for one more opening. Paulson trying to get an offensive move together. Good backhand by Paulson. A terrific distraction. Did you see that? Yes. Arm rocket there. Paulson just missing with an elbow. And yeah. showing with an attempted forearm smash. He wants that, he wants that ankle so bad, and Paul just really understands how to fight out of it. So he's got Jones read that way all the way. Jones has fought like a typical grappler Listen. looking for the arm lock and the ankle lock. He's got his own figure four ankle lock there too, you know. This is a great fight. These are two guys I was just going to say, John, we may have to see this one again because it would be interesting to see what would happen if Paulson boxed first as he did in the beginning of round three. You see that desperate uh, one leg tank down by uh, Jones? Boy, Jones has done everything but win this bout. Jones experiencing some floor pain, but that instep's not budging. You've got dueling ankle positions here. Who can pull harder? Who can twist more? Who's got better leverage? Great little hook kick to change position. I think uh, Paulson's a classy fighter. Paulson has really come to life from the bottom. 
Paulson has had a myriad of escape techniques in this bout and really has maintained his composure when in a defensive position. Eric figure fours his legs. He's almost got that leg, that arm key locked. Final seconds counting down. And a draw is imminent between these two guys who have really put entertaining techniques together now. Some pounding shots by Paulson. Nice position for Paulson, but he really should go for the armbar. Suplex. From the bottom by Jones. But no more time. A crowd please. Here's the armbar. He ran out of time. An entertaining battle had a bit of everything between Jones and Paulson. They get up smiling. They tried a lot in this bout. And this was a very entertaining. Two guys well-schooled. Each guy knew his own strengths and knew how to exploit the weaknesses in the other. I thought it was really entertaining, you know. They both tried for ankle locks. It got a little silly, but then Paulson just, you know, distracted him, got a little leg kick in, a great little backhand slap. Illegal in boxing, but certainly worked well here. Well, this one is not over yet. They'll have to put this one back. Ladies and gentlemen, time has expired. With no contest, a chance for these fighters. It's a draw. So, it's a draw. Solely on aggression. Jones looked like he had control. That's the best fight of the night, man. That's the best fight of the night. No verdict. No verdict. There's the ankle takedown there by Jones. Sloppy here in round three, but gets it together. Paulson comes on after that and really fought well from the bottom, John. Oh, yeah. I just really like the way he was slick from here. He turns around. Uh, and just one more exciting suplex. Jones loves to do that. But and the he really... Just ran out of time here. But the position Eric gets him in is a classic, classic position. Figure four is his leg, and the time runs out. That would have been a finishing position. 